Yo, what's going on guys? Before I start this video, I'd like to just say real quick, if you guys do enjoy what you guys have seen, go down below, hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you guys can, hit the subscribe button so you guys are always caught up on all the content that I post to this channel. And I say this every single video, I'm holding a giveaway of 20, if we hit 25 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway of a $20 PSN card, $20 Xbox Live card, or $20 Steam card, which is for PC users. If we hit 25 subscribers, I will do a giveaway and I will give away those cards. And let's get straight to the video that you guys tuned in to see. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Dean Hive coming back at you guys with a brand new video. Today's GTA 5, making something a little bit new. Uh, if you guys recently, if you guys have followed to, um, if you guys followed Rockstar Games on um, Twitter, they sent out an alert today, or like not an alert, but like a kind of like a they posted a little bit of a new thing to their chant to their page and what it is is they were talking about how the new import and export DLC is now coming out and I was doing research on it and the way it's looking it's looking like it's coming out I would say this Tuesday I want to say but then because it said it's coming out in December and then I also saw whenever I was reading through it it said that it was coming out in December of this Tuesday so I don't know if it was talking about this Tuesday of coming as in it would be what would that be the 6th December 6th or if it was talking about December 13th I think it would be dis better if it was December 13th because then it'd be closer toward Christmas it'd be better surprise to everybody and I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some pictures here real quick of like what I'm talking about and as these pictures are going through I'm gonna be reading off a little list here as you can see um it's, there's two new cars in there. Um, the other ones is the Bentley, the SUV, um, and the new Tyrus. I think is what that car is right there in blue. But exactly what they posted on their under the um, pictures, it says Rockstar will add executive offices to GTA Online next week, allowing players to store up to 60 vehicles. Right now, we're already able to store 60 vehicles, but I'm not sure if that means we're going to be able to store 60 more to make it 120, or if that means that they're just gonna make it to where we can put every single one of our cars into one garage. I don't know. It also says it's a massive important massive improvement on the game current garage limitations and will be welcomed by players who collect and store customized car vehicles. The new buildings come along with import and export export jobs next week which build on the criminal activities that CEO CEOs can pursue as part of the finance and felony update. Part two of what it said was Import Export introduces a whole new series of criminal pursuits as CEOs and their organizations boost, modify, and resell the most wanted vehicles in the city for big profits, said Rockstar. It will take talent coordination and the talent use of some brand new special vehicles to get the job done, all while staying one step ahead of the police and rival challengers from across the city and the countryside. The executive office, office garages will be customizable and come with their own custom auto shop so I'm thinking from my p point of view I'm saying is it gonna be like the way it is with the bike shop right now how we have our customizable Los Santos in there but then again they say we can customize it so I'm confused on is it gonna be to where it's our inside the exe right now we know it's inside the executive office it's like underground in a garage so we go in and we go underground there's our garage. So is it going to be like a long ass hallway or is it going to be like three levels or two levels or like six levels? How is it going to work? Like, is it going to be six car garages? Is it going to be fucking two car garages? Is it going to be ten car garages? It could be a goddamn 60 car garage. We don't know. Right now, I'm trying to search every single thing that ever comes onto, say, Rockstar's site. And I'm trying to, like, get in hold, get in touch with them. I'm looking on their Facebook pages, their Twitter pages, looking on their Instagram, see if there's any pictures. If you guys find anything new, go ahead down in the comments and put it there so I can spread the word about it. And I'll try to. And if you guys want, follow me on Twitter and I'll and let me know so it, it could be easier there because then I can just easily open my phone and I could retweet you back. But. I think I know now from what it's saying is that it should be coming out I think this Tuesday from what it's saying and it's 
kind of a mix up of with Simmons way of working because it says that s that we can customize the most exotic cars and then resell them for big money that's the way we work with Simeon we find cars that he wants put a color on it take it down to him to ching he gives us more money than what we put into it but it also has the finance and felony shit like with the whole executive offices and it has like we don't really have to do job it's kind of like every I think because with all these stuff going on it's kind of like heists are also being more put in more of the finance and felonies getting put in more different cars exotic stuff my what I think is they're trying to make every single update into one right now because I feel that GTA 6 is coming out soon so that's why they're trying to do all this and they want GTA 5 to blow up like right now it's blown up so much stuff getting put into the game right now people are going all at it and modders are coming around I just don't know how this is gonna work because with this big ass update coming out I feel like the modders are gonna take the advantage but then they're gonna get banned like right now I have one modded account how do you think I get on here and show you guys all the new shit like I get on here I show you guys the new cars I get on here and show you how to do this stuff I have four modded accounts and then one account that I have I actually try and I worked at it I actually had Rockstar ban that account at one point and I told him why are you banning my account I haven't done any money glitches well yeah I haven't done any money glitches I haven't done any RP glitches I haven't done anything to hack I earned everything I was literally coming home failing classes at school I would come home sit here and go play my PlayStation and just keep on grinding, trying to rank up, trying to get everything I could, trying to have look like I was a modded account, but really not. I was trying to earn it, everything. So it was kind of a struggle. But I don't know. This update might kind of go both ways toward the modders, toward us. But I'm going to get off here. Rock, I'm going to keep in touch. I'll keep you guys posted up on all the greatest, the latest and the best content on anything that goes out there once I'm trying to get my camera guys I said that every single day trying to get a new camera trying to get a new my actual desktop here so I can start making better edited videos start doing challenge videos start doing better things you know I can get my face cam up I can get like I'm trying to get an Ogato coming here soon green screen trying to get studio lights I'm trying to make this a big bomb ass setup but mainly you can't do it but when you're kinda broke and I'm making my money slowly so I'll catch you guys in the next one hopefully you guys had a great day today it's the weekend enjoy it go do something go have fun I don't know but I'm gonna enjoy it you guys enjoy it Guys, later. Peace out.